Hello, my name is Chris Watson and behind me is a painting that I've uh, just completed for Clive Hart called Clouds Lifting. Uh, this is a piece that I've painted for uh, Clive's uh, medical centre in Dianella and um, I'd like to just tell you a little bit about it. Uh, the piece started um, sort of in conjunction with another piece that I'd completed that Clive saw at a show of mine in November uh, that looked like a, a sort of viaduct in an English landscape, a fairly impressionistic work. Um, and at the same time in that show I presented a piece that was uh, kind of like a small woods of flowers, uh, of, of trees with uh, colourful foliage and flowers and one thing or another. And um, when I was building up the ideas for that, I felt that it could be very interesting to explore the notion of a row of trees receding, receding in the landscape with light pouring past them, potentially uh, the, f the ground, uh, a sort of soaking wet field. Um, and so I began exploring that on, on paper, as I usually do, uh, here in my, uh, my, my, my journal. So I start with a few sketches and uh, steadily um, work towards a composition that I think is going to work. And this is an experimental time as the work develops. Uh, I give myself the freedom to invent, to play, to try to find something fresh and new. And then I start to develop that composition further um, in Photoshop to maybe help me get the composition just right before I start committing it to canvas. Um, it's very important to me when I'm painting that uh, the kind of intention of the work is, is clear in my mind. In, in this situation, I uh, was thinking about the people that will be using the, uh, the waiting area in the medical facility and how they might be feeling. And it, it's been my, my hope here that this piece would be uplifting, would be encouraging. Um, that whilst you're th sitting there potentially not feeling too well or worried about things, you might wonder to yourself about the magnificence of life. So then the work, sort of the, the real work uh, of, of getting the paint on the canvas starts um, with gusto. I stretch out a huge piece of canvas and immediately try and get rid of the blank surface of the canvas with um, acrylic watercolour, um, putting in washes of, of, of colour, usually in the opposing colour to where I think the surface of the painting might end up, to try to add uh, certain piquancy to the eventual uh, eventual painting. I add little uh, objects and uh, textural pieces to the paint at that uh, to the painting surface at that time. You'll you'll find down in this far end of the piece there are, are leaves that were um, embedded into the paint at that time and they've left an impression that um, beautifully complements all the foliage work. Then, you know, once that's completed, I start to bring that composition that I mapped out into the surface and start working, uh, breaking, you know, making out the forms, um, and very much listening to where I think the piece itself wants to go. I might have had a great idea to begin with, but the piece ends up taking on a life of its own, and I do my best to respond to that, and all the time just give sort of energy, give love, through the surface um, that I hope my audience is going to take away um, when they look at this piece and are examining all the little sort of micro worlds that are going on within there. So um, um, in a nutshell, you know, really that's it. So I, I, I sincerely hope you, you enjoy this piece. Clive, thank you very much for uh, asking me to do the work. It really has been a pleasure. and. Um, I hope it inspires and uplifts a lot of the, the people at the centre. Thank you.